Welcome back, Rome Rockers. I'll be teaching you how to cook this meal in this video, so stay tuned. So I already peeled my water yam and after peeling it, you wash it in a clean bowl of water. After washing it, the next thing is to grate your water yam. I use this to grate mine and if you're using this, use the side and not that side to make it smooth, like not really smooth but to get the consistency we want. You can also use a food processor or blender. If you're using a blender, make sure to cut it into tiny pieces so it's easier for the blender to blend it. And make sure you get this consistency. It shouldn't be too smooth because you know it's what I am. And if you're going to be using this, when is this small already? You don't need to throw it away. Just get another one and mash that one. You know we don't want to waste food and we also don't want to get injured so just use a new one to mash it until it is completely dissolved and when it's completely dissolved you keep blending or sorry you keep grating it until you finish all your so water I'm yam. done grating the water yam and after grating your water yam this is what it's going to look like you can see it's not so smooth now I'm going to be using Titus fish and of course I'll use palm oil definitely my grated water yam and some grinded fresh pepper, cameroon pepper and sliced onions, sliced tomato as well, seasoning, salt and crayfish. So you put your pot on the fire and make sure it is completely dry before you put in your palm oil. So when your pot is dry, you pour your palm oil and you wait for like 2 to 3 seconds because you don't want the palm oil to bleach. Then you add your onions, pepper and sliced tomato. You add that and stir it and you have to wait until the tomato water gets dried before before adding water because we don't want the food to taste sour so while waiting for the tomato water to get dried you can add your fish to the sauce so it can you know boil together and get soft as well go ahead to add all your ingredients from crayfish to salt to seasoning and cameroon pepper you add all of that and you stir everything together remember we're still waiting for the water to dry now the water is dried as you can see and it's just the oil that's there and now we can add water to the sauce add water according to the amount of water yam you'll be putting after adding water you stir it again and taste it make sure the salt the pepper seasoning and everything is okay this is where the taste of your water yam is determined so make sure everything is okay if no one is okay you can feel free to add it leave the water to boil and when it's boiling we can start adding our water yam so you basically need to use your hand to mold it and drop in the water just like the way i'm doing it on the screen so you keep molding it gently gradually and you know don't pack it too much don't take it too big so you keep dropping it into the sauce until you have you finish doing it and make sure you don't drop it on one side it has to go to every side of the pot so when you finish dropping it you cover it up do not stir it yet because if you stir it everything will just scatter we need it to form the seed first a few moments later so after about 10 minutes you come back and this is what it should look like the seed is already all formed and we're just going to keep stirring it because the ones that have not formed is what will form the pottage or the porridge of the water yam so you keep stirring it and stirring it and you keep getting thicker and thicker until it is ready for you to eat it this smells so yummy guys so as you can see it is already very thick and it is ready to be dished so when it's like that dish your food and that's all bye let me take you for a ride